Hi, today I'm going to explain to you how to use Skype for business meetings and how to create a meeting and attend the meeting and what are the options you have. First, if I want to create a meeting with anyone or conference with multiple people from Outlook, click new item, you will find something called Skype meeting. Click on it. This is going to create for you the meeting request and a direct link to your meeting conference. Put anyone inside the two, inside the organization, even outside the organization, they can join and use uh, the conference. So I'm going here to invite people from my organization. Another thing we have, you can have something called schedule assistance. So if it's someone inside your organization you can if he shared his calendar you can see his calendar see his free busy so I can see that Dom is bu is free today and I can do an appointment with him so I can make it one hour 30 minutes whatever and I will have meeting options so what are the meeting options who can join my meeting anyone I can make it only people I invite from my company so no one from outside the organization can join I can make it from anyone from my organization or no restrictions. I'm going to do no restrictions. Who is the presenter? I can put who is the presenter, choose a specific presenter. I can mute all attendees. So if I am doing a big conference, let's say I have 50 people inside this conference, I can mute all attendees. In this case, no one can uh, talk or do any noise. I can block attendees videos so no one in this case will enable to open his video and I do recommend this if you have big meetings to mute all attendees and block all videos and just leave them to IM I will send this meeting request it just asked me to put a subject I'm not going to put any subjects where I can find this meeting from my meetings you will find that you have a meeting today from three double click on this it's going to open the uh, conference room so in this conference room as you can see I can see the participants so by clicking here I will see all participants click on this bu button you will see all conversations so right now no one uh, entered yet and I can from here from these buttons I can start controlling the meeting itself so I can mute myself I can share and present anything so if I want to present something with all attendees click on this button I can present a specific program so in my case I want to present the PowerPoint I have opened here or I want to sp uh, present anything that's running on my background I can say that I want to present a program and choose in this case no one will be able to see anything except this PowerPoint they won't be able to see anything else inside your uh, PC and I can give control to anyone so from here I can give control to anyone if he's going to help me in this presentation I'm just going to stop presenting and I can start my video click on this to start video call I can from this button I can start recording so if I want to record uh, this conference I can click on start recording by clicking on this button what if I want to invite someone to attend this call I can invite more people to this call so I will search for Dom that I want to attend as you can see he is available so I can double click in this case he is invited to the call as he is going to be a presenter so as you can see here we have two options one is present presenter and the other one is going to be attendees but in my uh, demo both are presenter I can right click on Dom and make him unmuted because he's muting himself or make his attendee 
when I make him as an attendee, he won't be able to share anything. He won't be able to do anything. We can still chat, so I can just chat with him inside this window, and he can reply back uh, to me. So basically, and if I want to attach anything, click on this button. You can attach anything you want in this call. If I want to have a full screen, so if someone is presenting something and I want to do a full screen, you will find here something called full screen view. So by clicking on this, it's going to be full screen. So if someone is presenting anything, in this case, I will be able to see this as a full screen presentation and see the whole PowerPoint. This is a quick overview on how to handle a conference, how to create a conference call and how to invite people to a conference call. If I want to end the conference call, simply click hang up. One another way to create a, a meeting or a conference, if you have a thread, so I have here a thread, which is four people and I want to reply to all and add a conference. So in this case, you have here an option called meeting. So reply with a meeting. It's going to reply all people with a meeting request and you will find here something called Skype meeting. Click on it. It will just add the Skype conference ID and change the location to be Skype meeting. This is a faster way if you want to create a conference after a long thread of people discussing and you want to reply to all with a conference call. And of course, it's the same thing you can from schedule assistance. You can see all people calendar and you can start putting first date and end date for this. By this, I have end my presentation. Thank you.